You're watching All Access. When it comes to life after football, many NFL players find themselves struggling with their mental health, especially those dealing with the lasting effects of concussions. Former Bronco Ray Crockett recently shared his story of struggle and triumph with Justin Adams. The throw is John Mobley broke it up. Winning Super Bowl 32 was a moment no Denver Bronco would ever forget, especially their starting quarterback. It's something, man, that will be irreplaceable probably next to having your kids. Ray Crockett, a man who didn't make the football team as a freshman in high school, beat the odds to play 14 years in the NFL and became a two-time Super Bowl champion by mastering the bump and run technique. It's a metaphor of really just getting up close and personal to your opposition, to your opponent, guiding or redirecting your opposition to where you want them and need them to be every single play or in a positional down and distance. After retiring from football, he continued to flourish, living in an 11,000 square foot home with multiple luxury cars in his garage. But there was an issue. All of a sudden, my mental health, things like that, you know, from football, concussion, hitting, things of that nature, I started to suffer. I started to suffer. And, and then I, once I started suffering, I got a little nervous. You know what I'm saying? For the first time in my life, in a long time, I was nervous. Ray began to make bad financial decisions, losing $3 million. He also began to isolate himself and couldn't figure out why. It wasn't until the deaths of two former football players, Hall of Famer Junior Seau and his friend Dave Durison, that finally caught his attention. I literally saw Dave Durison in Vegas at a business, uh, at the uh, a uh, business event, the Minority Business Conference in Vegas. I literally saw him three weeks before he passed away, before he killed himself. I literally saw Junior say uh, two and a half weeks before he shot himself. So that brought it home that I, you know, I just didn't want to end like that. For me, I just said, look, man, I'm having headaches. I'm, I'm depressed. I'm having anxiety. So how do I fix that? I go to a counselor, you know, I go get help. At his counseling sessions, Ray got the help he needed, using the same strategy that made him successful on the football field. Was one of my counselors, she said, look, Ray, what did you do when things went bad on the football field? How did you, how did you attack it? What did, what did you, because there's something you had to do. Everybody has a go-to move. And I was like, bump and run. That's exactly what I did. She said, do that with your life. And that's what he did. He meets with his counselor and therapist monthly and slowly started to guide his life back in order. You have to break it all down. You have to take it day by day, event by event, moment by moment, and you start to fight your way back. Now he's telling his story in his book titled Bump and Run, looking to inspire others to seek help in order to redirect their lives. Being strong is getting help. Being weak is the other end, and we know what that is. This month, CBS4 and MTV partner to improve mental health in our community. If you or someone you know is struggling, you can find a list of resources at cbsdenver.com.